Good morning everyone. Today is, what day is it babe? Day of March, Thursday. And we are off shopping. We're off out to the mall. We're going to Sunshine Plaza because the weather today is not, it's not doing it for us. It's giving very much England. It's very cloudy, very rainy, but it is still 27 degrees, which is like hot. So we're gonna go to the mall. We were gonna go to the aquarium. Like we were trying to decide between the aquarium and the mall, but to be honest, I just didn't fancy the aquarium today. And also at the shopping place, I need to find myself some more linen shorts because I pretty much wear two shorts on repeat, my white ones and my pink ones. And I just need some more linen shorts because right now I'm wearing denim shorts, which I love, but they do make my legs rub if we're going on a long walk. Like they're fine for going to the mall, but not if we're going like on a hot, sweaty walk. So I need to find some more linen shorts and maybe a cute dress. And Elsie, you don't need any more clothes, do you? No but maybe we'll find something cute for you. We are gonna go out, we need to get some nappy wipes, maybe have a look at the formula they have here because we are gonna rapidly run out. We have got like half a tub left. We bought three tins, it would have been enough if I continued expressing my breast milk, but I've decided that I'm not going to. I've decided to stop just for like several reasons. I've discussed that all on TikTok if you do wanna know. But anyway, we think we're gonna get lunch whilst we're out as well. So mission is linen shorts for me, nappies wipes maybe formula and get some lunch out yeah, yeah? all good uh, to be honest we can't really do much else today because everything around the sunshine coast is very much like beachy coastal walks so let's just go we have just arrived at the shopping center just parked i actually did a decent job for me usually i'm really bad at parking but today oh should we look at where we are we're in the blue car park something, level B. We can watch this back if we forget. Anyway, yeah, found a space. Now we're gonna go shopping. One of my favorite things to do. One of Charlie's least favorite things to do, but it's raining today, so let's get it. Very excited. I've just tried my first ever Cinnabon. Charlie also got one, but he's saving his for later. Um, I'll try to show you guys now. Honestly, it tasted so good. Um, I can open it. Look at that. It's like a cinnamon, well, cinnamon roll. It was only $6.50, which is like £3.50 um, in English, which is actually really good. So it's very filling. And then Charlie also got a flurry. Whilst I was going to get my nails done, I got this colour here. It's like the brightest orange. This is definitely the brightest colour I've had, isn't it? It's nice. But it is really nice. And again, this was less expensive than it is at home. I've actually got cinnamon all over my fingers. We're gonna go to the car now. We have just left the shopping centre. I got myself a play suit, which I'll show you later. I did like a what's new in, sort of what fits in the changing rooms at Gander because that's like a popular clothing brand here in Australia. And I really like it, but they only go up to size large. So, you know, they're not really doing much for inclusivity. So I just wanted to see what would fit in my size. So yeah, that's what I did. And then after that, we went to TGI Fridays, had a burger and fries. I think Charlie did film a little bit of it. It actually tasted really good, didn't it? The what, Cinnabon? No, Cinnabon. no, bon. TGI Fridays. I was, I was in, I read an email. <laughs> yeah, it was really nice. Bang in price as well. Yeah, the price was really good. It was 18 something, $18. It was, for, yeah, $38, which in is total. like, 20 quid yes yeah, all really of that good. so 20 quid not bad you guys know that we're trying to not eat out too much because we don't want to spend too much money and it's cheaper if you just make your own packed lunches but we thought today we'd just treat ourselves and to be honest that wasn't bad at all and then after tgi i went and booked myself a nail appointment and i got some new nails if you guys know you know that back home i get my nails done probably every two to three weeks i try and stretch it to three and it's something that i just love doing and it's like my little moment of like 30 minutes a piece so i absolutely love these i got orange i've wanted to go bright orange for ages and i feel like it's such like a 
summery colour. I just thought let's do it whilst we're in Australia. So next time I get my nails done will probably be at the back end of when we go to Melbourne. But yes, I love these. I got them a lot shorter as well because mine were all snapping. Don't know what's been going on with my nails, but they were all like going really just not the best. So I took off the pink and we got orange. She did actually ask me, she was like, do you want um, your toenails doing? And I was like, nah. I don't usually get my toenails done. Get, I think that, isn't that like the first time? Yeah. Yeah. Because I feel like it's just really ticklish on your feet, but it's actually not that bad. And also, if you're going to wear shoes, what's the point? Yeah. If you're wearing flip-flops like out here, I can see why people would yeah. get dumb. I didn't get my toes done, but I'll probably get them done at like in Melbourne again. I think I did say in the vlog, like literally a minute ago, that we got Cinnabon, because I've been seeing everybody on TikTok try this. And when we went to Sydney, there were always really big queues for the Cinnabon stores. And I was like, no, nah, I'm not queuing for that long. And then I just saw it as we were walking back to the car and I was like, I'm gonna get that. So we stopped over and I ate mine, but this is what it looks like. This is almost like ice cream or something, and then it's like a cinnamon bun. Honestly, 10 out of 10, really like it. Now we are gonna go, where are we go off to now? Point Cartwright. It's basically like a beach. We it's don't like really a lighthouse. Know. Lighthouse. We just thought it's a good stop to go on the way back because it has actually got a lot, the weather's got a lot better. So yeah, we thought let's just stop somewhere on the way back. I think it's about halfway, isn't it? Yeah, it's 15 minutes from here. 15 minute drive and then 10 minutes back to the Airbnb. So we're gonna go there, chill for a bit, go on the beach. I doubt we'll actually go on the beach because we haven't got any like, no, we haven't I'm got any got, towels or not anything. Not any shoes either. Yeah, so we'll probably just have a look at what the beach looks like, see if we want to go back there at some point. But yeah, very excited. Elsie has been, okay, I don't want to jinx it, but she's been honestly an angel today. She was just, good yesterday as well. Yeah having our naps not crying just how we like it anyway i'm gonna leave now because we only get three hours free parking and we've nearly gone over that but anyway we'll catch up with you guys when we are at point cartwright oh are you okay did she um i think you meant to cut it up that's why i got you a knife of i can't cut it <laughs> why i want to try a little bit okay you try a little bit <laughs> Honey, <laughs> anyone would think you haven't eaten before? Like Elsie. <laughs> that right. is so good. Yeah, it tastes so nice, doesn't it? Yeah. We have arrived, we just saw the beach, it looks so good. Me and Charlie were just saying we wish we could go swim in the sea right now. But we don't have any stuff with us to actually go in. And also, we can't both go in together because obviously one of us has to stay with Elsie. Now we are just walking up to the actual point and we'll show you guys what it looks like. We have arrived at the point, the beach is looking stunning. Elsie is just here in her pram. About to get her out, that's why she hasn't got one of her straps on, but she is pretty happy. Hiya! Mmm, nom 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 nom. <laughs> anyway, yeah, we just walked up that bit there. Just gonna chill here, but it is actually really hot today. Just gonna chill here for a bit. We would go down to the beach, but there's so many steps and it's not worth it with the pram. Look at that graffiti. That is honestly stunning. And then I think that's a lighthouse, isn't it? Oh, Missy is not happy. Elsie! Yeah, this graffiti art is really, really good. Pretty sure it's supposed to be like an underwater sort of setting with trees inside it. Yeah, but that's the actual lighthouse, Point Cartwright Lighthouse. You can see the little radar thing spinning. But yeah, the sea both sides, because it's like the point, if that makes sense. So the sea down there and also the sea down here. Can you see? Hi! <laughs> oh bless her right she has actually been golden today you've back to your happy self huh you had a few days of uh madness but oh wow <laughs> listening to the waves aren't we you've seen a lot of beaches now <laughs> Her legs are literally going. Tell them what you've seen. Say hi, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's it. That's 
it. Say, so, Mummy, hurry up. This is the other side. I'll just show you. Just some nice gardens and greenery. To be honest, if it wasn't as hot, we could have like a nice picnic here on a different day, but it's honestly way too hot to just sit outside. There's also like water fountains. That's what's really good about Australia. They have water fountains and places to fill up your water bottle everywhere, especially in like parks and beaches, which is great. We have arrived at Moola Luba Beach, is it called? Elsie's not very happy. I've been trying to get her to sleep, but we've had no luck and she's just been sick. So we're just gonna leave it for now and she can be carried. This beach is honestly stunning. We are gonna come back here because it is just unreal. I think this is one of the nicest beaches we've seen, um, like actually on mainland. What's that? She's not my happy girl. Um, I think she's just started teething again. But this is what we are looking at right now. Look how stunning that is. There's people swimming. Thank God I caught that. <laughs> I honestly thought that was going to go straight in the sand. Um, and then over there there's all buildings. But we are going to come back here and do a barbecue a different day. Because we haven't actually got any beach stuff. So we can't sit down on the beach or anything. We've just come to like this bit here from the stairs. But we're going to go back now because she's tired anyway. So she needs a nap and then we'll speak to you guys in a bit these are the barbecues we were just on about we're gonna come here on i think we're gonna come here on sunday which is in two days time use these barbecues and then we can obviously eat here as well with that view and then we'll spend a few hours on the beach as well we have just been sat here for 20 minutes it is honestly gorgeous the sun is going down it's so pretty we're definitely going to come back here i'll get charlie to show you the view now because obviously i've got elsie the view is honestly amazing this is one of the prettiest beaches here we are definitely coming back here yeah we're going to go back now because elsie's really starting to get tired so go back good morning everyone today is sunday and we are very excited. We woke up, actually, we had a pretty false start to the morning, didn't we? So Elsie woke up at about half six. We put her into our bed because she just won't go back to sleep in her travel cot after that. But luckily she does do the main stint in her travel cot. And then Charlie and Elsie went back to sleep. I didn't go back to sleep. Then Elsie woke up and I was like, I am so tired. So I just laid her next to me and just thought, right, maybe if I'm quiet, she won't actually like fully wake up and she'll drop back off. She ended up dropping back off maybe like half an hour later. And what time did we actually get up? Well, she fell asleep. She woke up at half six to, uh, till seven. Yeah. And then she went seven till eight. Yeah. And then we both said, right, we'll set an alarm for nine because she was she fell back asleep. And then we woke up at ten. <laughs> so um, and the funny thing was that yesterday we said, oh yeah, like when she wakes up at eight, we'll just get up straight away. We'll seize the day. We'll just get showers ready out the house. Did that happen? No, it didn't. Yeah, but it but doesn't matter. We've, we've actually got ready quicker. Really quick. Yeah. So it is now half 11. Yeah. Half 11 and we're about to leave. We are going to go to First Bay, which is near Cullen Beach. That's where we think we're going to go anyway. Our plans might change because we haven't really got anything set in stone. We really wanted to go to the Great Barrier Reef whilst we were here, but We've realised that it's just not going to be possible with Elsie, with the weather. There's various different factors with how far away we are. We're going to have to come back. Not complaining. Mm. <laughs> no, we're going to have to come back one day to do the Great Barrier Reef. Maybe mm. when she's a bit older. You are actually very heavy, Missy. Like, my arm is aching. Do you know something funny? My dad said that Elsie's going to grow up thinking that you have to talk to a camera. Instead of like... Mm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you already started doing it. Yeah, I know, exactly. Every time the camera comes out as well, she gets so excited. Anyway, I mean, you're just excited in general, aren't you? <laughs> so, we're going to go to the beach today. We've packed the bags and we should be all good to go. I'm going to drive and we're also going to get lunch out because we don't have anything for lunches back here to make packed lunches or anything. So we're going to get lunch out as well, which should be nice. So on here on your right, you will see the building that was an absolute hole. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this is no, it, right. it was actually where is that it? one. It was that it's one. It's that one there. That was where we were supposed to be staying. <gasps> there was somebody in there. There's really? somebody on our balcony. <gasps> that 
means that we've paid, that means that he's made double the money. Yeah. That's an absolute joke. Joke. That is actually a joke. I can't believe Was that. Was there actually? Yeah, 100%. Do you want me to drive back? Yeah, go on, drive back, because then it'll be on my side. Right, guys, we're on mission. Have a look. No, genuinely, there was somebody on our balcony. I might even just turn into the car park when you take a photo. Right, so, we're coming back down now. Just We just turned around in that car park to have a look. So, it's... Just to put it into context, guys, we've spent hundreds and not got a refund, but the Airbnb host has put somebody else into that place. Right, let's have a look. So, we've lost money. Unless it's him. Right, is it? there anyone behind you? No. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to slow down. Right, look up that top bit on the third floor. Yep, definitely someone sat there. Yeah. Definitely someone sat there. On the big... Yeah. Oh, There's like a man it's sat there. More annoyed. It's a joke. Right, we are now just getting out of the car. We have arrived at First Bay. Honestly, I can't believe that thing about the Airbnb. I've just sent the host another message to say, look, you haven't lost any money. It wasn't like in a adequate state for us to stay in. Like, be a reasonable human. I haven't actually said be a reasonable human, but the rest of it I have said. So fingers crossed. Anyway, we're gonna get out of the car now and head down onto the beach. Not gonna let it ruin our day because what's the point? We've already lost the money, so. <laughs> we have arrived. This is what the beach looks like. It's actually really pretty. Um, and then there's loads of greenery and we're just sat here. There's actually a swing. Which is pretty cool yeah we just sat here there's some rocks over there i think charlie's gonna go climb on me and elsie are just chilling on the towel right i'm gonna try and attempt to get across this and all the way out there but it's quite far so we'll see how far i get so yeah let's start the waves are really really strong i would not want to be in that water like just in there no way I would want to be in there. But them waves that are coming up, like this one here, that's pushing you straight into the rocks. Definitely wouldn't want to be in there. There's all these like little sort of bits where the rocks are falling apart. And then obviously the water comes into here. But look, there's like a little, Jesus, I almost slipped. There's like a little rock bit here. Yeah, I don't like it here. It's a bit slippy, so. I'm gonna go back up. Food has arrived. We've got cod, chips, and then monsters each, which are our favourite monsters back in the UK. We literally love these ones, but they're so expensive out here. Yum. We just had fish and chips. I had to film on my phone because I actually left the camera in the car like the bad vlogger that I am. Um, yeah, we had fish and chips. It actually tasted really nice. And then after that, we went into Gander Clothing because it's one of my favourite clothing shops here. And Rip Curl because that honestly has some gorgeous bits but it's so expensive and I'm like I just can't justify it. So we went to the pharmacy and got Elsie some cowpole, well their version of cowpole because she is still teething and we just need to give her a bit and the other one we smashed because we did buy one the other day and then Charlie got some sunglasses that were only £6.99 which is actually really good because that's like £3.50 back home and I mean I'm taking that and they're actually really nice aren't they babe because yeah. Charlie lost well, he had two pairs of sunglasses before he came out here and in the space of four weeks he's managed to lose them. One pair he lost in the sea. Where did you lose the other pair? Oh, both in the sea. Well, don't take them ones in the sea then. I think now we're going to head to the beach, have a look around, um, maybe like set up a little towel and then go in the sea but we will have to take it in turns because obviously Elsie won't really want to go in the sea and then after that I think we're going to get ourselves an acai bowl because I am craving an acai bowl so badly like I just do you know when you just really want one because it's so refreshing if you guys haven't had an acai, acai bowl you are missing out Elsie is just drinking her milk she's not interested no she's watching you oh are you watching me vlog right let's go to the beach just been in the sea the water temperature is 23 degrees which is actually like fairly mild it's actually really nice and the water is really clear so i just told charlie that we should all go in and we can just keep elsie like a bit more above the water because she'll be fine but yeah so much fun i can't believe i haven't done it before but to be fair 
I only liked it because the water was clear. I'm so scared of like the ocean when you can't see what's beneath you. At one point I think a jellyfish touched me and I freaked out. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But yeah, the beach is so nice. Uh, I went and swam in between the flags, they were just down there, but it was really good. We've been sat by the beach, Charlie's been in there, but he's just got out, and I went to go and get us some acai bowls, but look at them. So, that was Charlie's, it's got banana, strawberry, kiwi, chia seeds, mango puree, peanuts, oh, honestly the works. I got you everything. And then I got... Uh, I don't like banana, so I got strawberry, kiwi, chia seeds, cacao nibs, I don't even know what they are, um, peanuts, passion fruit, and obviously acai. Looks so good, doesn't it? Yeah. I just spent like an hour in the water. I actually got stuck at one point for like five minutes. Yeah, it is powerful out there. Like when I went in earlier, it wasn't too powerful, but now it's just got very powerful. Elsie's in her buggy, just all bundled up, and we're going to eat these now. Honestly, the sun's starting to set as well and it's such a nice temperature. We are literally just leaving the beach now. Look how nice it looks. But, oh my goodness, I'm so scared of this. Ready? Oh, <laughs> I'm so scared of it. This is what the beach looks like. It's actually stunning. Just got Elsie changed. Charlie's going to have a quick shower to shower off all of the, all of the sand that he's got on himself. We're sat on a bench just waiting for Charlie. But obviously Elsie turned six months like a few days ago and she is honestly growing up so fast. Like you are so long now and kind of heavy, but kind of heavy. She loves me carrying her. She loves anybody carrying her. She loves staring at people until they smile back at her. Like it is ridiculous the amount of attention we get because she literally sat sits there I'll be in front of her no doesn't doesn't care about me she'll be like smiling at some random person until they smile back at her and literally she must get from strangers at least 20 a day I wouldn't say she's a great eater yet obviously we only started at six months because that was what was recommended and to be honest she showed a few signs of being ready before that but nothing massive um, so we didn't start until she was six months. I feel like we gave her a taste of a few things before that, but not really. Um, so she's just been having a mix of puree and baby led weaning because for me, I just wanted to do a mix. I know it's recommended to do just baby led, but I feel like that way she can get a taste of certain stuff. She can get a bit more of the food in her and then she can also have that experimental play with like finger foods and stuff like that. And then eventually we'll just be giving her what we eat but a lot of what we eat we actually can't give her because it has like extra salt and sugar in it so yeah any other Elsie updates like things she started doing she's way more grabby isn't she oh way more grabby honestly she pinches your skin hurts so bad grabs doesn't everything it? she's always grabbing my little like beard thing oh well. yeah she's always grabbing charlie's beard and he's like Oh, wow, amazing! Come it help me. So much. The thing is, she doesn't let go. Oh my goodness, yeah. And the other day, she was like pulling my hair. Obviously, how do you get a baby to ungrip your hair? And I was like lying inside. Have to wait. Yeah, you have to wait till they ungrip. Anyway, she pulled it so hard that the hair actually came out. It was all over the bed. And now, every time I have a shower, you can see these little like hairs that are like poking up this much, can't you? Yeah, it does look a bit weird. Yeah, it looks so bad. I literally love the beach when it's this sort of day because everything just looks a bit nice nicer the people there's less people on the beach and it's just a really chilled vibe but we are gonna head back now make ourselves some dinner we were gonna go to Aldi but we've realized in Australia do shops close on a Sunday early yes I think so because obviously in England shops close at pretty much four on a Sunday but I'm not too sure about in Australia because we were gonna pick up some stuff from Aldi but it doesn't matter because we've got stuff for dinner anyway we leave in two days. We have tomorrow as a full day and then it's a travel day. So we don't really need much food, but we just needed a few bits to keep us going. Gonna drive back. It should take us about half an hour to get back, I think. Oh, the other thing she loves doing is grabbing onto this necklace. Oh my goodness. I'm surprised it hasn't snapped yet. She loves it, doesn't she, babe? And she plays around with it when she's tired as well. I don't know what it is. Must be some sort of sensory thing. Should we go? Let's Are we going to go up the ramp? Yeah. Yeah, okay, let's 
go. We are just leaving Cullum Beach now. We're on Cullum Road. Five minutes. 25 minute drive back to where we're staying. So yeah, we should be home by six o'clock and then we'll have showers, cook Small dinner, LCL. put Elsie to sleep and then me and Maisie will chill for a bit. We actually had such a nice day in Cullum today. It's such a shame because where we would have stayed at that apartment if it had been okay would have actually been perfect, like the location and everything. It is a real shame to be honest because it would have been perfect, wouldn't it babe? Yeah, it would have been so nice and we literally could have walked down to the beach and it would have taken like five minutes. Yeah. But anyway, it is what it is. It was a really nice day today. Probably one of my favorite days we've had since being at the Sunshine Coast. It's just a really nice beach and the water was really clear compared to some other beaches that we've been to, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. I was in the sea for like probably an hour. An hour, yeah. And I had, it was really fun. Yeah. The waves do get strong. I was watching Charlie at one point. I was like, he does know he's meant to be swimming within the flags. And yeah, I got dragged away. Strong, yeah, where the rip and current was strong. We're gonna go now. Charlie is holding this so close to my face. We're gonna go now and we'll catch up with you guys when we're back at the apartment. Sunset really nice. We're in. Yeah, we're in. So we just got back. Well, we got back maybe like an hour, an hour and a bit ago. And we had showers, Elsie had a shower. We have just put her to sleep. She was a little bit fussy tonight, wasn't she? Yeah. Like, faster than usual for some reason. They're making a weird noise at the moment. Charlie, like Charlie texts me like she's making a weird noise. Like a motorbike, I could actually hear it. She's going... <laughs> Charlie was putting her to sleep, but she just wasn't going. And then we decided to swap round. And Charlie finished off making the dinner, which looks delicious. We've got chicken tikka masala with jasmine rice we nearly did get a takeaway so i'm actually quite proud of that. yeah it does look really good it does look nice we haven't actually had a proper curry oh my goodness since if you're a what what's it called like a long time follower um then you guys know that we haven't actually had a curry since my birthday where we had that awful curry yeah. so i did try this one before babe i tried the sauce Quite nice. Yeah, I tried the sauce before we actually made the curry because I was like, I'm not having the same curry that we had before. Because if you guys know, in my birthday vlog, we went for a curry and it just <laughs> it tasted awful. We're gonna eat this and what are we what are we gonna do tonight? I think we should watch something. Watch something. We'll let you guys know what we watch. Since the last clip, Charlie's been editing some of the vlogs after we ate dinner. We've also been watching Bondi Rescue and I feel like I've got Charlie pretty addicted. I have said before, but I literally used to watch it so much when I was younger. I haven't watched it in ages, but do you like it, babe? I honestly could watch it now for like hours. I know, it's so like... I don't know, it's just the way it's filmed and how interesting it is. So I will come on here and just end the vlog. I hope you did enjoy today. I actually had a really nice day today. It was probably one of my favourite days we've had since being in the Sunshine Coast. Kaloum Beach is definitely a must see. It's really nice. It's really nice, especially. And the area where the shops and that are. Nice. So good. Yeah, everything is close together. The town, the parking is really easy and there's quite a lot of it considering. Uh, there's a play park, there's barbecues, there's a skate park, there is loads of different restaurants, there's a few different um, like retail stores, like there's some of my favourites there. Definitely worth checking out, they've also got bays, so we went to first bay to start off with, but they also have second bay, and then they have the main beach. I would actually say the main beach was the best, would you? Yeah. Especially if you want to go swimming or you've got kids, Definitely, definitely recommend checking it out. If you're already going to Noosa, it's literally like, I think it's like 15 minutes away or something. Not long at all. So definitely worth checking out. We had an amazing day. Loved the acai bowls. Honestly, 10 out of 10. I've been telling Charlie, when we get home, I am ordering acai. I feel like you can order like sorbet, acai sorbet, and it's a similar thing. I'm going to order that and then make everyone acai bowls every morning because it's it's got away to my heart honestly so yes we've just been doing that elsie is asleep she's been asleep actually for a, a while now i don't think she's gonna wake up till the morning we have been struggling with her sleep because she's just been a bit 
waking up at a bit of random times but you know we can't really expect too much considering we're not at home tomorrow we is our last full day here which is crazy so tomorrow i need to go to a charity shop i need to sort out what clothes don't fit elsie and just put them in a pile to take to the charity shop oh it's gonna be so sad because she's grown out of three to six months and it's just breaking my heart and the next clothing size she's gonna be in will be nine to twelve because she is rapidly growing out of six to nine as well oh my goodness i can't even she's getting so grown up anyway i'm gonna go thank you so much for watching this vlog if you did enjoy it please subscribe and we will see you all in the next one bye